but just the, I feel the real truck driver, you know, the generational truck drivers are a lot of it, it's, it's over, you know. Man, I, I you don't want to hear my real truth. Yeah, but I do. I just, the new breed is no good. Uh, they say it's in your blood, it gets in your blood. It was twisted in mine. Be presentable, nice, you know. Don't wash your feet in the sink, you know. <laughs> Uh, you know what you're talking about. Don't be pissing in the parking lot. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Throwing your trash out. We're we we're, we're already bad enough as everybody sees us. Like so, what makes a guy a Kenworth guy? When you come here and see nothing but Peter belts. <laughs> <laughs> that that there's I think there's four of us here. Yeah. And but but no, I, I like I like I like both. I have a 379. I got a 359. Yeah. But. There's nothing finer than a W9. Wait, wait up, let's go. Hey, yo. Hey, happy trucker appreciation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, I love you, brother. Thank you so much. Man, we're hanging out, man. Yeah, I love you, man. Be safe. Man, how the heck did that work out, man? So we're out here right now with my guy. You know, introduce yourself, brother. My name is Oscar. I'm a general manager at the Flying Gate Bubble 7. I love it, man. And you told me something really special that you know these truck drivers are important and that you guys are revamping and making making things nice for them yeah. so what are we doing brother they're bringing new pumps yeah and i see uh, that everything all the flying day nice and fresh we're bringing new merchandise uh oh they got the dude they got big rick tees they got mother trucker i can't believe it i'm super excited man yeah, no, thank you. Uh, yeah. Thank you for the I, really, I really love your channel oh bro i hope to see you around here one of yeah hey we're gonna do some meet and greets. We're gonna plan things out, and we're gonna make it happen, man. That's what's up. I love that. You know, I'll get out of this man way, but happy trucker appreciation week, sir. All right. I'm gonna keep my sprite. Or yeah, no keep it, man. You're sponsored by it. That's all right. <laughs> uh, tell me about zero one. Tell me about your life. Tell me about this KW. This, this. T just tell me where we're at in life. First off, introduce yourself, sir. Jim Fraley, um, just been around this all my life. I'm a fifth generation driver. Fifth generation? Yeah. Oh my God. I have a son that's six generations. Uh, family started trucking horse and buggy 1880. Isn't that something? Still here. I'm a, just one of the few doing it still of our family. You know, how many years you been doing it yourself now? I'm 49. I've been driving since I was 17. I heard that. Um, tell me this. Uh, um, you said, you know, tell me when you want to talk to some real drivers and stuff like that. You know, we were playing around. Yeah. Uh, um, you know. Everybody has their, their stories of, you know, outlaw this, outlaw that, which whatever. I've been there, done my fair share of that. Still do sometimes. You better stop. You know nobody watches it. He was joking. No, I'm not. Yeah, I'm joking. <laughs> ELDs are great. There we go. There we go. Keeps you honest. <laughs> there we go. Uh, motive ELD. <laughs> <laughs> you better stop. Uh, uh, what, what would you like uh, people to know in general? You know, uh, with with your years of experience, just generational, uh, just anything you're feeling. You know, I'm not here to get you in trouble about nothing. I'm just here to get your truth. Man, I, I you don't want to hear my real truth. Yeah, but I do. I just the new breed is no good. You know, is any of them good? How about the ones that are trying? There's probably four out of 20 that try. And, and what you what, what I see, so we we run, do West Coast turnaround, you know, always have. Used to do coast to coast all my life. Uh, just the, the amount of people you see, no matter what they are, you know, right, whatever they are, just no pride no more. It's just, it's like the, the truck driver part is gone. It's all about how much can I make here, how much can I make there. No pride in their rides, which there is that, just not a lot of it, which these companies may not allow it. I don't know. But just the, I feel the real truck driver, you know, the generational truck drivers are a lot of it, it's, it's over, you know. My, my family didn't put me, you don't need to drive a truck. They couldn't keep me away from one, you know. Still today, can't stay away from one. You know, what makes you love it so much? come from it you know uh, they say it's in your blood it gets in your blood it was twisted in mine uh, 100% and 
you could transfuse my blood a hundred times and never go away. You know, so so let you know, you did have an opportunity to have others teach you the right way. And so for the ones that want to do the right thing but don't know what to do, give them some advice how they could be one of the four out of twenty now. Come on now. Man, I, I ask questions. Ask old school guys, not the guys wearing flip flops. You know. Uh, I ain't wearing boots or jeans, but but you, you can tell a real truck driver when you see one. And, so uh, dressing the part is a big part of it. Uh, no, I'm gonna say no. My uncles and they are good at that. <laughs> so I, I didn't do the. My son does. Yeah. You know he'll, he'll wear the boots and the pants and and the button yeah. up shirt. I just, so when you say the pride part, we're, I'm trying to get to it so that they can learn because they're they're here writing notes right now, brother. Yeah. Just be presentable, nice. You know. Don't wash your feet in the sink, you know. Uh, don't be pissing in the parking lot. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Throwing your trash out. We're we we're already bad enough as everybody sees us. You know. We're not allowed to park in Walmart no more for a reason. From people throwing their trash in a lot and pissing in the parking lot, and you're on camera, and they still do it. <laughs> so, all you new mother truckers out there, the ones I really want to try hard. Make a difference. Make a difference. I like that. And just, you don't do it at home. Don't do it out here. I love that. No, that's great. I mean. Yeah, that's great. Anything else that you, you'd like to let people know? Because you have a lot of experience. And I, I think a lot of, you know, some some of the new guys might not understand and feel a no, little I, attacked by this, this right? It's kind of like any other type of industry. I did this because I come from it. I'm, I'm not a hammer nail guy. I'm not a concrete guy. I'm not a welder. I when I was born, I was going to do this. I, I could probably tell you, I knew it. You know, I was probably made in a truck, almost born in one, and been around them since day one. And uh, I was brought home from the hospital in a truck. I love it. That's my, they did that, for real. I, I love it. A 74 W9. I love that. So, uh, you know, the, I mean, everything, pack cars, uh, pack cars, pack car, but the, the, the Kenworth versus the Peterbilt. I mean, one likes one over the other. Is that the reason why you love that right there? It's because All my, they always bought Kenworth. And I just, for my personal truck to drive, I have this, I have Peterbilt, I have Kenworth. I have International. I don't drive it, <laughs> but uh, I prefer this, you know? So I, what makes a guy a Kenworth guy? When you come here and see nothing but Peterbilts. <laughs> <laughs> that, that there's, I think there's four of us here. Yeah. And, but, but no. I, I like I like I like both. I have a 379. I got a 359. Yeah, but there's nothing finer than a W9. I love it, man. So no, I know you know just for the audience that will watch this on social media, just to know that this man is passionate, and uh, I think just all ships rise, right? It's like if you're new to this, you don't know much. What I'm getting out of this is ask. Right. Ask the old guy. Don't ever be afraid to ask. Nothing. Are you easier approach though? You don't look like you're easier approach. Probably not. Everybody says I'm maybe. I don't know. I don't think so. But hey, if a guy straight up went up to you and said, "Hey man, I'm struggling with backing up." Yeah, I'll help you. You'll get out. I, I mean, after 20 minutes, I might not want to, but <laughs> you know, there's them guys that can't do it. Right. There, there, there's in any biz, there's guy that can't do the job. They just it's everywhere and everything. But the ones that want to learn it are the ones that do and become great. You know, don't it. watch your TV going down the road. Yeah. You know, that's great, man. Anything you want to let people know about this truck? It looks so nice, man. It's just a just a 2020 W9, man. Just, man. It just seems just like down. everywhere it goes, it got sparkles on the ground, man. Come on, man. Fairy dust. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, just uh, just a little bit of stuff that you know the hand pinstriping. My, you know, they all did all, had all that done yeah. on their stuff back in the day, and yeah. Now everybody wants to do a sticker, or I heard that. you know, very few hand painters left. And yeah, if I could turn this into my dad's '74 W9, that's what it'd be. I love it, man. But, it's beautiful, brother. But, it's beautiful, uh, man. Let's walk to the back. Let's walk to the back. Uh, How you doing? What are you here to show me? <laughs> Just. Just my little buddy there, and and then just the, this is the real family tradition. There's some a bunch of imposters, but 
I don't think very many go six generations. That's right. And and we do, and have an award to prove that. So I love it, man. But I love uh, it, man. like I said, just I love it, man. I am this. I heard that. That's all there is to it. That's great, man. Well, let's get you right here and take a picture right in front of this. I love it.